underway. Good match coming up here on MCW. This brings in the mask, Assassin. You know his legacy, and he comes into MCW with one thing in mind, and that is to make the name even bigger. He's That's taking right, on young Michael. Chris Michaels out of Louisville, Kentucky, and Billy Joe Travis. I like the looks of Chris Michaels. Well, Chris Michaels, up-and-coming wrestler. I faced him before when he was a little younger, and I, I'll, you know, I beat him, of course, but he, he's gotten a little better. But you know the assassin, he's been around for a long, long time. He's a great veteran, but any one of these two guys can win this match. Originally, back in the 60s, there were three assassins. Of course, two of them were unmasked, one was not. Guess who's in the ring right That's now? That's exactly right. So this man, as a youngster, took the mask uh, uh, under the hood, and he now, and I said the 60s, actually I meant the 70s, but uh, he took the mask back in the uh, mid-70s as a youngster, and he is still a very, very wily veteran in that ring and knows how to handle himself. But right now, Chris Michaels, with that hammerlock, now turns it into an arm bar, and this should be a classic Greco-Roman style wrestling match. The Assassin very much in the style of the Australian catch as catch can. Well, both of them are great wrestlers. Both of them can wrestle. Chris Michaels has been around for a few years. And uh, Louisville, Kentucky, he's been around that part of the area. He's held several regional titles. He's held tag team championships with Todd Morton out of Louisville. You know, he's a good wrestler, but I don't think he's no assassin. Uh, this is a classic example of youth against experience. The assassin with the experience, he knows all the ins and outs of the ring. Whereas Chris Michaels, as you say, has been around a couple of three years, but is still learning the ropes, so to speak. And now he's in uh, some heavy competition here in MCW. Well, I'll take experience over youth any day of the week. There's the standing wrist lock by the assassin reversal by Chris Michaels. One thing I notice about Michaels is he's very quick in the ring. He makes his he makes his mind up to do something. He's very quick about execution. He's very young, and you're right, Michael. He is a he is doing a lot of great moves in the ring right now. But once the assassin gets tired of that, watch out. And you know what he's famous for. Well, I did have fighting. I did have the opportunity to renew acquaintances with the assassin. He has been traveling all over the world. I was surprised he was telling me he just returned from the Philippines. And he was telling me that he was attracted to MCW because of everything that he has been hearing and reading about worldwide. And for a company that has been in business uh, less than a year, that's a pretty good statement about the caliber of talent here in MCW. Well, you know why he's attracted to MCW? Because of the sweet music man, Billy Joe Travis. Every time somebody hears I'm in a, a different place, they come to see Billy Joe. I've known this assassin. I'm, I know what he looks like. Well, I've had but some, I ain't gonna tell you. I've had some, handsome fella. I had some requests uh, for Billy Joe Travis from some of the fans. They wish you would put on a mask like the assassin so they wouldn't have to look at you. Let me tell you, Michael, you know this from your heart that I was voted one of the top 25 best looking men in the country, right behind John Penn and uh, Tom Stalick, Starling, Stalick or something. Uh, Tom Selleck? Selling. Tom Selling. Okay. All right. And now you were voted top 25. Uh, now one the, of them. The, uh, now what what was that? The, uh, the Institute for the Blind voted you that? Let me tell you something. You are getting on my nerves, punk. I'm getting tired of this. You know I'm a good looking man. I know. That's what your a... wife said. <laughs> I know for a fact. I know for a fact that the fans here at MCW are not fans of Billy Joe Travis. You because got to be you... crazy. Every time I go to the ring, the fans just love me, want to shake my hand, want to take me out and buy me dinner, but I turn them down because I cannot stand somebody who stinks. Well, lately when I've seen you come to the ring, you've had a guitar in hand and you haven't played it. You've knocked it over somebody's head. Well, my finger's kind of hurting a little bit, so leave me alone about my guitar. I'm bringing it back soon. And the match, four of them. The action continues in the ring. We've seen a classic wrestling match between Chris Michaels and the Assassin. Two very good wrestlers here on MCW. Again, the veteran expertise of the Assassin taking the advantage right now of Chris Michaels. He's got that wrist lock, and that could be quite painful. Well, you better not underestimate that Assassin. Because, son, he can take you any minute. The assassin taking over the pace of this match away from Chris Michaels, slowing Chris Michaels down, and that will be to the benefit of the assassin. Whoa, whipped him down to the mat. He may have pulled his hair. Referee, no, he may not. Kurt Heron checking. And now he's checking with the crowd to see if maybe the assassin went into the blonde locks of Chris Michaels. Well, look at the arms on the assassin. 
About twice the size of Chris Michaels. I think everything is about twice the size of anybody in the ring. The assassin is a big fella in there. He goes at about 279, and uh, Chris Michaels in there at about 228. So Michaels giving away a weight advantage to the assassin. He puts him in the corner, and that is a classic assassin kind of move. That's exactly right. When it gets down to the nitty gritty, the assassin knows what to do. Sets that arm behind the back in the hammer lock. Look at this, picks him up and slams him down. No finesse about that one. He just put Chris Michaels on his back, picked him up in that hammer lock, slammed him right to the canvas. Well, that Chris Michaels ain't done yet. I, I, I'm, you know, I cannot, I, you know, Michael, I'm gonna give his due. Chris Michaels is a good little wrestler. And you know, a lot of people in this MCW better watch out for him because he's a tough little guy. But he can't beat me, though. I'm surprised to hear that. Oh, look at this. Flying body press by Michaels on the assassin. Got to count a Don't one. ring that bell. I was reaching for it. I thought he may have had him that time. Now Michaels comes firing back on the assassin. Has him in the corner. Pounding away. Look at Michaels going to work. Referee Kurt Heron steps in between him, but Michaels, he is incensed yeah, over the incensed. treatment. He's beating him to death with his fist. Look at Come this. on, assassin. The assassin loading that boot. He just loaded that boot, and he oh, put the boot into the Lord. chest of Chris Michaels. Goes for the cover. One, Ring the two. bell, baby. He got him on a three count. He loaded up the boot. That is something that I have seen the assassin do time after time again. Michael, hold on. You know what that's called? Experience. No, that's called a piece of metal in the sole of that boot. If I'm lying, I'm dying. We'll be back dead. with MCW Wrestling Action after this. Saturday, April 4th at the Nashville Fairground Sports Arena. MCW presents the Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Card, a tribute to one of the greatest pioneers in professional wrestling. Help us celebrate the life of Tojo Yamamoto with Nashville's hottest wrestling lineup ever. The Tojo Yamamoto Memorial Card, Saturday, April 4th at the Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena.